So today we're going to learn a song, Down in Flames by Stoney LaRue. The song was written by Brandon Jenkins, Kristen Kelly, and Stoney LaRue himself. The song is in F, uh, but the rhythm guitar is going to be capoed one, and it's, it features an easy strum pattern, um, just a few easy chords. The lead guitar, we're going to learn a lot of licks, some harmonized licks as well. In a separate video, I'll teach you the harmonized licks. But in the choruses, there's a lot of embellishments and a lot of riffs. Um, pretty much they're solos themselves. So I decided to separate those videos for you into chorus one and chorus two. That way you can just go ahead and learn those in separate videos as if they were solos. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So for the rhythm guitar, I'm playing my acoustic here. And um, song's in F, but I'm gonna capo one to make things a little bit easier, which, which means we're gonna be in E now. Um, so when I say an open string, it's, it's clearly, um, it's capo, so it'll be the first fret. Um, some of the chords we're using here to get through the intros, verses, outros, you're gonna be using the same progression. It's just a D chord, so it's that flat seven. Um, I'm just using a run-of-the-mill D chord. I'm not playing the E string, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move my finger off of that. And just a refresher on that, it's just that open D, G string on the third fret, so it's usually a second fret because we're capoed. It's gonna be a third fret and fourth fret B string. And a little bit slower. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And this is going to be the progression for most of the song besides the choruses. It's just that D chord to your A5 to your E. Just get used to strumming like that. It's really easy, just nice and easy. So we're going to start the song off. You're going to hit the D chord. And you're just going to play it one strum, let it ring out, hit an A chord to an E chord. You're gonna let that ring out. And when the drums come in is when we're gonna be strumming away. Um, so this is that kind of big part of the song where that intro, drummer's gonna give us four counts. One, two, three, four, one. The riff starts. And just come in on beat. One, two, three, four. We're still in the intro. Now we're into the verse. The verse is the same chords. And that's the rhythm part of the song. Let's put that to tempo. Here's intro one. One, two, three, four, one. Here is verse one and verse two. One, two, three, four. So 
So for the lead guitar throughout the song, I'm going to be playing my Telecaster here with the bridge pickup. I have just a kind of a medium overdrive and just a little bit of light reverb. Um, I'm not using any stomp boxes. Um, you're going to start the song off. The drummer's going to count you in. Uh, he's going to give you a four count, and then you come in on the one end. So um, that lead riff that we're going to be playing throughout the song is it one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> And you're gonna move up to an octave. So that's the main riff. Uh, in a separate video, I'll teach you the harmony if that's even something you're interested in. Um, and we're gonna learn that riff, the verses, and the outro in this video. I'm gonna teach the choruses because they're, they're so busy as a lead player. I'm gonna teach those in separate videos. We'll treat those as solos. Um, so let's break down this, this intro guitar riff. Um, the biggest thing is coming in at the right time. Uh, like I said, we're gonna give you a four count and then the drummer's gonna hit the one and you're coming on the end. So one, two, three, four, one. So we're just climbing up the scale here. I'm starting on the third fret A string. I'm doing a little hammer on there and then sliding up. So hammer on from the third to the fifth A string, hammer on to the third to the fifth the D string, and slide up to the seventh fret D string. And then climb up fifth to the seventh fret G string. And then you're gonna bend that seventh fret G string and then slide back, then resolve the bend and slide back down to the third fret and then bend the fifth fret G string. Do that again really slow for you. So after you bend that fifth fret G string, you're just gonna hammer on again third fret to the fifth fret. And you're gonna end the phrase sliding up from the fifth to the seventh fret D string. Let's put that to tempo and uh, let's move on. Chorus two. One, two, three. 